the question is abdullah why would you backbite anyone whether muslims or non-muslims why what is the purpose would when that make you feel satisfied wrong, and when they're doing it wrong publicly and we need to warn someone can we do that in you see, that it, cases it, you see there is a difference between whenever i'm asked for a testimony whenever i'm consulted so i give my testimony or i give my opinion within the limitations of the question like somebody is asking me you know you know this person we're planning to do business together what do you think he's your neighbor whether a muslim or no muslim well you know that person was involved in many businesses and he's proven to be not honest so you say i wouldn't advise you because there are experiences before and that's yes. it for a stop to that is this backbiting yes Sheikh. Uh, no. when as in general as we know that uh, Allah says in the Quran that we need to talk with people with a good uh, but uh, is it same for the Muslims and the non-Muslims or does it differ? Yeah, when it we is do sin. Backbiting, it's horrible for the Muslims. It is sin for everyone. But is it same for the non-Muslims? I hope you hear me. Yes, it's a sin for everyone, Muslims and non-Muslims. Yeah. Do not backbite no one. And there is a difference okay. between whenever I'm asked by the judge or a legal judgment i need to give a testimony so i give the testimony based on my certain knowledge and i limit it to that and then somebody is asking me to vouch or not to vouch the credibility of somebody or to tell him what i know about him in respect of marriage in respect of business in respect of renting a property so again you will give the answer within the limitations of the question Barakallahu fikum. Beyond that, it is backbiting.